Hey, welcome back to Clay Nelson. Clay Nelson Life Balance are on KZSB AM 1290. Hey, listen, uh, we got a call during the break. To uh, They wanted to know about um, my CD sets and how to oh, get yeah. them. And uh, so real quick, you can go to www.claynelsonlifebalance.com and push products, push the products button and go right over to the CD sets. And you can either see about each one or you can watch a video about each one. Uh, or you can break them all down and listen to them and all kinds of things. Your website's really cool. I looked at it. It's all updated. There's the new little QuickTime video is on yeah, there. Yeah, the front so it, and, it, it's, yeah. if you want to read about stuff, there's stuff there to read. If you want video, you can see people talking about the stuff that I have on there. You can see that. Or you can just see a picture of me, and I've gotten really cute now that I'm in color. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Clay, we do have a caller on the line, but I want to rem remind folks that they can go ahead and actually give us a call um, on Wednesday afternoons at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Okay. Give us a call at 805-564-1290 yep. locally, or go ahead and give us a call toll-free at 866 564 1290, and that's yep. anywhere in the United States. They can listen to us streaming online at claynelsonlifebalance.com, and they can also go ahead and watch uh, the streaming video there of the show live at that time. Yeah, and they can email us like they have been at clay at mediasb.com, and uh, we'll get your emails right up on the air as soon as it comes in here. So, okay, who we got on the air? Uh, we have Lauren on the line. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Clay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get this analogy right. Okay, talk but... slow because I'm kind of complacent. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm going to get this analogy just right, but before we went on the break, you talked about complacency and how that can um, kind of stick us in the ground like a tree and we <laughs> – grow roots and don't move yep. kind of thing. So um, I was thinking about that. Is, is there a component of fear there? Well, if fear of the unknown. I mean, you know, your mind is set up to keep you safe, and how does it keep you safe? Think about that now. Where does safe live in the human mind? You know, it's something you've already done, right? Something you know, yeah. Yeah, something you know. So your mind is designed to keep you in something you know or the past. Mm -hmm. So anytime you want to step out there and do something you haven't done before, your mind's going to say, uh-uh, don't do that. You're going to die. Your mom's going to be mad at you. You're going to lose a body part. You're going to get ugly. So the two really are connected. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how you think and, quite frankly, what you believe in really it directs you know, the actions that you take. So complacency is a great place to where you just kind of give up even thinking about, now, wait a minute, do I really feel that way? Complacency is just a place. It's like a box you go into or a room you go into it has a chair. We kind of go, you, you, your brain numbs up. Yeah, you, yeah, that? great. I call it brain dead. Yes, you go brain dead. You okay. are on what I call automatic, if you will. All right, so, it's like I've already done it. I've already thought it. I've already tasted it. You know, I already felt that feeling. I already made that mistake. I already learned. You know, it's like, gee, there's nothing else to do. So complacency. So, com so complacency. Yeah. If I'm, I want to make sure I understand this right because I think it's really cool, and I want to talk to one of the groups I'm going to. Um, I get together with some ladies in the afternoons on Thursdays, and I think this would be fun to talk about. But the, um, so complacency is really a step beyond even your fears or the emotions and the things that you feel. Complacency is you go there and you just don't even feel it anymore. Well, it can, well th that's really well put. Complacency is the domain that you put fear so you don't have to get over them, talk about them, uh, be with them or get, you know or actually just break through what they are it's a buried ignore it oh yeah it's a, absolutely okay. it's an acceptable brain dead deadness okay <laughs> how about that oh cool you know it's yeah. like it's like you see guys coming home from a war and they're kind of like nobody's home in the cabeza because there's such and such tremendous shock it's unbelievable for what they had to do mm -hmm. complacency is a non-war non-violent um, place that human beings go where they just give up and go brain dead and just say, hey, I don't know, I can't think of anything, I really don't want to play, and by the way, where's the oatmeal? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Know? Okay, yeah. great. Well, thank you. And if you don't, um, I want to confirm the times that it, the show is rebroadcast, because I want to make sure these lady friends of mine get to hear the rebroadcast sure. of your show. Did sure. you say it's um, tonight at 10 o'clock? Yeah, tonight at 10 p.m. This is California time. I don't know where you are. Yeah, okay. And then Sunday again at noon? 12 it, noon. Yeah, that's right. Great. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Way cool. Thanks mm -hmm. for calling in. Yep. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye now. All right. Now, uh, you know, what she had to say is pretty much, and she said it better than I did, is uh, complacency is just a place that we choose to go where you don't have to make any decisions. All right? You really don't even have to complain about where you are because you're not even present to an upset. It's just wah, monotone. You know what I mean? And it's like you kind of give up and go there. Now, let's talk about for a minute 
steps that you would take to pull out of a complacent mindset. So, you know, let's just say that we all agree that everybody gets there. Everybody goes into complacency. Everybody gets stopped. Everybody gives up. Everybody wants to just kind of, you start off going into complacency, calling it, I need to rest. So I'm just going to rest. I'm not going to talk to anybody. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to live my purpose. I'm not going to be energized. I'm not going to be responsible. And by the way, I've earned the right, so bite me. <laughs> and that's what people do. And they, and they go off into that space and they sit there. Now, let's just say that you've gotten there. Now, what are some of the steps you could use to get out of there? All right. Now, now hear this. I don't care how many of you are listening to me now that understand what complacency is and that you say, yes, I've been there. I can guarantee you, you're going to go in and out of there frequently for the rest of your life. You will never be done with complacency. It's a human trait. It is the way it is. And the smarter you are, the more surprised you'll be when you find yourself there. It gets you. Understand? So how do you get out of a complacent mindset? So first of all, you have to get really uh, you know, real and really present to that you are there. Then you have to forgive yourself and don't make you wrong. All right? So you're not complacent because you're a bad person or because you have a personality flaw. So don't beat yourself up for that. You're complacent because you are human. Every human being on the planet gets to a place where they just don't want to participate. And it's absolutely okay as long as you don't stay there so long that it becomes a lifestyle. It is an unhealthy place to stay for very long. Humans are wired to be complacent. 90% of your day-to-day -day behavior is on automatic. Think about it now. When you get up in the morning, what's the first thing you do? Go to the bathroom, right? Then what's the next thing you do? Turn on the coffee. What's the next thing you do? Look for the cat. <laughs> or whatever it is you do, right? And But you do it the same way every morning, okay? And then, and then you get things going based on whether you're late or whether you're early in the get-up schedule. And you either have to feed yourself, feed the kids, whatever. you got to shower. you got to get your stuff together. you got to load the car. you got to get the kids in the car. you got to think about where you're going and everything else. So, But it's an automatic way of being. And I said earlier, how many of you driven to work in the morning and forgot the drive? I mean, you just weren't present to it. But you got there, and you got there safely. You understand? But you were surprised when you got there. Like, where was I? That's the automatic way of being. Or how about this? How many times have you answered the phone, and it's the same person that you always talk to, and you just listen? Uh-huh. 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 But if, they were, if you were ever asked on that phone call, could you give me back what I just said? You'd go, uh, no. Because <laughs> I can't remember it. Okay? So that's, you know, being complacent. That's actually... Not having to say how your life turns out, you're on automatic and so on and so forth, all right? So complacency is nothing more than a plague that dulls your edge where you're on automatic. Uh, you're going to go there. You can't get away with it. There's no way you can be not complacent forever. No one has that much energy. So how do you restore the sharp edge? How do you get reinvigorated in spirit, reinvigorated in life, and reinvigorated in your communications? How do you lighten up and have a bounce in your step again? How do you have a say in how your life turns out again? All right? So how do you, you know, do you, it's like if you weren't complacent, you just leap out of bed in the morning and go, yeah, let's get it on. How many of you leap out of bed in the morning? If I leaped out of bed in the morning, all my bones would hurt. I'd fall down a big pile of skin at my age. <laughs> so it's like how do, you, how do you get up in the morning and really get going? So it's about a commitment. When you wake up in the morning, you go, hey, you know, I waked up. Whoa, here comes another day. I'm alive. Let's dance. And you have to be out of complacency to be able to appreciate being able to wake up again. So think about that. So when we get back, I have to take another break now. When we get back, we're going to talk about some of the great things that you can get present to that happen in your life uh, that can keep you or get you out of the complacency mindset. So you're listening to Clay Nelson, Clay Nelson Light Balance Hour on KZSB AM 1290. Come on back here. We're going to have some fun in the next segment.